So I just found Nemo. Let's go take a look. Hey everyone, Ben Bryan here. It's Wednesday, middle of March 2021. I'm here in Ligtasin Cove, just near Matabunkai in Batangas. I've got my uh, snorkeling gear here, and I'm about to go out on the reef. It's almost 1 p.m. Um, you can see at any one time, there's many, many tourist boats, and many of them are anchoring directly on the coral reef. So it's been a big, big challenge here because the locals depend on this tourism for their livelihood, but the tourists come because of the fish at the reef. So I'm gonna go out there, see what beautiful uh, wildlife we still have, but then also take a look at the damage that the uh, anchors and tourists are causing to the reef as well. Fortunately, there still are many colorful tropical fish. However, bright and colorful corals such as this are becoming harder and harder to see. This fragment of coral broke off last week and is slowly dying. Tiny fish take refuge amongst the colonies of corals, where larger predators cannot get them. In some areas though, these types of corals have been completely decimated and all you see are broken fragments on the ocean floor. Climate change is responsible for some coral bleaching. However, humans pose the biggest threat to the coral reef. Dozens of boats bring hundreds of guests, and the reefs get trampled. Every day, the boats that bring these tourists to the reef drop their anchors directly on the coral. I've been snorkeling in these waters quite a bit over the last year. 
and have been able to observe the drastic changes happening to the corals because of the impact of the boat's anchors. There are areas where the majority of the coral is broken and dead, such as here. It's really heartbreaking to see. Standing out are just a couple of healthy patches of coral left. These safe havens for small fish are becoming fewer and far between. The damage of constant trampling of feet from snorkelers and tourists and anchors smashing down in the corals is taking its toll. There are only a couple of very colorful corals left. Large patches of corals are just completely broken and dead, as you can see here. So I just found Nemo. Let's go take a look. Fortunately, there still are some pockets of life and hope in the reef. Here we have an adult and juvenile clownfish that live in an anemone. Their bright orange color and white stripe come from iridophores, which are iridescent chromatophores that catch the light and glimmer. The anemones where they live are animals related to corals and jellyfish that have tentacles with neurotoxins. But the clownfish have formed a mucous membrane that protects them, and they have a symbiotic relationship. Okay, so I wasn't even sure there would be an enemy, an anemone, and some clownfish, the proper orange clownfish, clownfish but I found Nemo. So, message to all of you out there, for nothing else, we need to save the reef to protect Finding Nemo's Bahai. Peace be with you.